Now let's return to the Seattle Roadster Show. Everybody knows what a Tri-5 Chevy is. 55, 56, 57 Chevs are considered by the world to be the finest looking Chevrolets ever manufactured. Jimmy Smith, what a beautiful example of a 55 Chevrolet you have here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about it. The car came out of uh, Redmond, Oregon, and uh, we bought it in uh, 2002. And it was uh, in a shop in Wilsonville, Oregon, built by Creative Images, Mike Cochran and his crew. Uh, it took him about two and a half years. And uh, what do you want to know about it? Well, it's a little bit of a different, more than a little bit. I have not seen this color combination in the past. And it's one, if somebody laid the two colors out in front of me, I might go, I don't think so, but it works beautifully on this car. It looks great. It did. We stole it out of magazines. You know, we looked through magazines and found colors that we liked and uh, put it together that way. Driving a 55 Chevrolet, is this something ever since you were 12 you wanted a 55 Chev or was it a later in life you decided this was the car that you had to have? No, I had two cars that I, I wanted when I started this project. One was a 57 Ford Ranchero. Good choice. One was this uh, 55 Chevy and I, I found the Chevy first. 55 Chevrolets were built with a really nice V8 motor the first year of the 265. What's under that hood? Well the good news is, is it's still got a V8. It's a uh, LS6 uh, Corvette motor, um, bought from Street and Performance, uh, show package. It's got uh, John Lingenfelder uh, uh, intake runners on it. So it's a, pretty much a crate motor from Street and Performance. So this is all the good stuff in this. Yeah. How about transmission and rear end? Transmission's 4L60, and the uh, rear end's a Ford 9-inch. And the interior, really nice job. Who did that for you? That was done by a guy in Salem, uh, Creative Design. Uh, his name's Quentin. He does uh, not a lot of cars. Uh, he's got an upholstery shop, but uh, he, he uh, doesn't do a lot of custom cars, but uh, he does three or four a year, and he just takes his time and, and tries to do a good job. If somebody was new to the hobby and they wanted a 55 Chevrolet, what piece of advice would you give them? Well, you, of course you want to check the car out. You know, rust uh, to repair it costs a lot of money. So the, less, the least amount of rust you can find in your car, that you know, the project's going to go much smoother. Yeah, and much cheaper. Much so, cheaper. Yeah, pay it up front. Well, Jimmy Smith, this is an incredible example of a 55 Chevrolet, and thank you for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. You betcha.